Nanu Nanu, and welcome to the Fortress of Darkness, the nerdy nexus for your geeky needs. I'm your host, Beth Damiano. Today on Cliff Notes, we're breaking the mold by talking about the ultimate company crossing mega baddie you never knew your loins yearned for, Hellspont. Created in 1992 by Jim Lee and Brandon Choi, Hellspont first appeared in Wildstorm's Wildcats issue one. This guy is so badass. He's been in Wildstorm, Image, DC, and even Marvel comics once. Lord Hellspont is a demonite, a powerful race of space reptiles that are engaged in war with the Karuba and want to conquer the universe. Go figure. He has some insane abilities. As one of the most powerful demonites, a few of these include super healing, metamorphosis, durability, speed, strength, telepathy, phasing, possession, immortality, and chronokinesis, the ability to manipulate time. I've run out of fingers. This doesn't even count the abilities of his host body, which he can still use. Talk about being OP. His main adversary are the Karubam, Mr. Majestic, and more recently, the Kryptonian Superman. He and Mr. Majestic in particular are locked in eternal battle, having learned to hate each other by their respective races before even meeting. Hellspawn's first actual move against humanity happens when he decides to start a nuclear war to cleanse the Earth of the filth that is the human race. Eco-friendly! How thoughtful of him. Team One and most of the Wildstorm universe is formed because of this. Hellspawn manages to launch his missile, but is defeated by Majestic. In 1992, Hellspont attempts to conquer Earth with a demonite army. He plants one of his demonites in the Vice President of the United States to contact his race. He then seeks to open a portal to their homeworld in a process he calls reunification. To do this, he needed a power orb. He forms an incarnation of the Cabal, his personal army, to obtain said orb. Spot manages to begin reunification, but is defeated by the Wildcats after a member of his Cabal, Gnome, betrays him. He is thought dead after his defeat. But of course, he wasn't. It's revealed he survived after Hightower tries to obtain his demonite key. Another demonite, Lord Defile, also holds one, leading to the most epic of epic battles between the demonites and the Wildstorm universe as they try to obtain both keys, plus a rumored third one. At this point, basically everyone realizes Hellspont is their enemy. During said battle, Hellspont tries to steal a ship to get the heck out of Dodge, er, Earth. He wipes the floor with most of the heroes, and it takes the combined efforts of Mr. Majestic and the Wildcats to take him out. Traveling back through time, Hellspont landed at the height of the Roman Empire. He was on his way to destroy the Karubim ship at the time when the Demonites and Karubim first arrived on Earth, but was thwarted by the Wildcats, who time jumped into the past for a totally different reason, but decided to do us a prehistory favor. At this point, Hellspont decides capitalism is the way to go, and uses Carabim technology through a company called Pacificon by an icky human host, James Wyvern. Hellspont is reunited with his nemesis, Mr. Majestic, when they discover a planet shaper on Earth. Spont uses the planet shaper to discover the history of the Karubin and the Demonites, and he learns that the former created the latter as slaves. He then proceeds to hand Mr. Majestic and and zealot their asses, but retreats when the Karubin arrive to terraform Earth. Majestic and Spartan then have to team up with Hellspont to fight and defeat the Karubin. You hear that? The heroes had to get this mind-numbingly awesome villain's assistance to stop an alien threat. But in typical villain fashion, after they defeat the Karabim, he takes the planet shaper for himself, leading to a three-month, non-violent, cat-and-mouse battle with Mr. Majestic, where one would activate the machine and the other would turn it off. That's all that happens. Eventually, Majestic reveals he has a disease he'd gotten because of time traveling too much and was dying. Always use protection when time traveling, boys and girls. Always. The planet shaper could only function if there were living things on the Earth, so when everything alive is conveniently kidnapped by another alien threat, Majestic dies, taking out Hellspont. He then rains down an entire armada on our humble planet, revealing he can now control his demonite armies with a single thought. Because of his newest ability, his hive mind power. Following DC's acquisition of the character, Hellspont's background was refreshed. He was now Prince Artis, a 3,600-year-old nobleman and overlord of the Daemon 
Imperial Empire, obsessed with preserving his race by splicing DNA. Upon the death of his wife during childbirth, he is cast out by the queen, his mother. But in typical Hellspawn fashion, he builds an army and takes back his titles. And like half the universe, his followers discovered the metagene on the planet Earth, but he is imprisoned by them out of fear for his growing powers before he can use it. His prison, the Eye, eventually became the headquarters of the defense unit Stormwatch. When an explosion ripped the Eye apart, his cell crashed on Earth. At this stage, he runs into Earth's greatest champion, Superman. He kidnaps the Man of Steel and tries to convince him that powerful people like themselves are eventually betrayed, so for obvious reasons, they should totally become bros. He actually goes so far as to offer Earth to Superman in exchange for his support. But being a poster boy of good, Supes responds with this fist. Hellspawn disappears at the climax of their battle, but not before mentioning Jor-El, Superman's father, leaving Superman to ponder just what the Demonite knows of his lineage. Typical Dine and Dash maneuver from Hellspawn. Hellspawn's only other media appearance was in the 90s Wildcats cartoon. As we mentioned, he was also seen in a Wildstorm Marvel crossover where he helped Doctor Doom start World War III. That's all we have time for today. Leave comments, questions, or snotty remarks below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on our social media. I'm Beth Damiano. You've been watching The Fortress of Dorkness. Never fear the dork up here.